Hi, my name is Todd Backenstow. Welcome to Geospatial Intelligence and the Geospatial Revolution. This is Lesson 4, Lecture 1. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to define geospatial intelligence tradecraft, describe a relationship between geographic information science, geographic technologies, and GEOINT's tradecraft, and develop GEOINT using the tools in the tradecraft. So what's tradecraft? In a university setting, if I say tradecraft, people may think of pottery making. It's not that. Or some people may think it's sort of a meaningless literary term you would find in a Tom Clancy novel. Not that. Or, for those who have been around for a while, it's more than the escapades of spy versus spy. Bottom line up front, tradecraft is how geospatial intelligence is produced. Tradecraft is influenced by three things. General principles that come from science, the tools that we use to develop products, and the organizational standards. Those three things. Here's a diagram that shows the relationship between those. We'll come back to this diagram in a little different form later. The GON tradecraft is actually an evolution of the conventional notion of tradecraft. The conventional notion of tradecraft could be defined as an intelligence officer making contact with an agent to collect information, passing the information between them, and then the tactics for preventing detection. We're talking about something that's very different in GEOINT. However, the notion of a tradecraft is not unique to just the intelligence community. It should be no surprise since geospatial intelligence is not unique to the government community. It's very broad. In a commercial enterprise, we have manufacturing tradecraft. What are those confidential business knowledge used to create a product for a customer? Consider that commercial product production represents the collective manufacturing knowledge, skills, experience, and uniqueness of the work that is often passed from generation to generation. In business, this institutional knowledge is guarded from the competitor. It's called a trade secret. Let me give you an example. The Coke formula. As I alluded to in the introduction, GEOINT tradecraft is how geospatial intelligence is made by an organization. It's how the organization carries out the work. Let's consider the nature of the organizations for a second. These organizations might be a branch of government. It could be business. It could be law enforcement. All these organizations use tradecraft. Within these organizations, there is a unique set of skills, many of which are hidden from the public view. They're used to collect the information about a place and analyze it in terms of human activities and intentions. This is their tradecraft. Let me define tradecraft for you. GEOINT tradecraft, unique and possibly privileged organizational sources and methods for obtaining information of a place and making sense of the information to support the decision maker in understanding human activities and intentions. Two key words in there, sources and methods. GEOINT sources may include information obtained clandestinely with technical collection systems and using open source information. Clandestine means stealthy or out of view. While not illegal and ethical, businesses do this all the time. Oftentimes, with your permission, you just don't realize they're collecting information about you. Think about this. When you turn on location-based services on your phone, they are collecting information about you. In fact, the business collection of information far exceeds probably what government collects on you. Here's an example of Google using the satellite system to look at Apple's supply chain. Methods comprise those technology tools to organize geospatial data and the cognitive techniques used by the analyst to make sense when it's rendering judgments, insights, and forecasts. Possibly unique from other geographic analysis taught within the academic community, the GEOINT analysts may be required to operate in secrecy and contend with deliberate deceptive information. GEOINT's tradecraft is based on the intrinsic human geospatial thinking process. It's not tied to a technology. 
Here, critical geospatial thinking is essential. Critical geospatial thinking was a concept initially discussed by Michael Goodchild. It is reflective, skeptical, and analytic, implying that the successful application of geospatial perspectives can never be wrote. It must always involve the mind of the analyst in an active questioning and examination of assumptions, techniques, and data. An organization's geospatial sources and methods may be closely guarded so as not to give opponents or targets of interest the opportunity to know the capabilities and interests of their opposition. As mentioned before, this is not unique to the intelligence agency or to geospatial intelligence. Businesses surround their equivalent of sources and methods in a cloak of secrecy because they are central to the success of the business. GeoInt's analytic tradecraft has been particularly influenced by the geospatial revolution. Let me show you this a short show and tell over a time period of, say, 30 years, how things have changed. When I start out, a stereoscope. Now this is done electronically. But even more so, here's a punch paper tape that I used years ago when I started this business. Those little punches are dated and coded on them. 80 column punch cards. 1980s, these were state of the art. Or how about putting this floppy in your pocket? Things have changed a lot. These changes, particularly in data storage and the speed of processors, have allowed the geospatial revolution to occur. Geospatial intelligence, traditional and late tradecraft, were reshaped by the information sciences, GI science and geographic technologies. Let me talk about GI science, that is geographic information science. This is the science behind the technology. It is general knowledge that addresses the fundamental questions. These are the algorithms, data models, all those things that help us build geographic information systems or GPSs. The geographic technologies are those pieces of equipment used in visualization, measurement, and analysis of urge features. These include things like the GIS, the GPS that displays the software that enable the analyst to do their job. This relationship between GI science, geographic technologies, and tradecraft might be displayed as this. We'll continue this discussion next lecture. Thank you. See you next time.